Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Hot Andred, and for today we have Wouldn't Mean a Thing by Bruno Major. Sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, we're going to break down the intro and also the first verse. We're playing in the key of F sharp, F sharp major, and for this intro and also the first verse, we have this progression starting on D sharp minor. That's octave D sharp for the left, F sharp and A sharp. Going down on C sharp, octave C sharp, G sharp and C sharp. Going up this time to the one chord, F sharp major. That's F sharp and C sharp, F sharp and A sharp. Going up again to the four chord, we have B, B and F sharp, B and D sharp, and from here we're going to go down playing F sharp over A sharp. That's A sharp and F sharp for the left, simply A sharp and C sharp for the right, and after it, G sharp minor. G sharp and D sharp, G sharp and B. Let's continue, we have C sharp minor, C sharp and G sharp, C sharp and F. Going to A sharp seven, flat nine, so now on the left, A sharp and G sharp, natural B and natural F for the right. And that's our passing code to go up on D sharp minus seven. D sharp and A sharp, C sharp and F sharp. So the seventh and the minor third on the right. And just after this D sharp minor, we have once again F sharp major with a different voicing this time. Octave F sharp for the left, A sharp and C sharp for the right. And after it, we have a descending progression that starts on B, going down on A sharp, G sharp, back on F sharp, okay? So we have B, just like we've seen, B and F sharp, B and D sharp, then F sharp over A sharp, so that's A sharp on the bass, A sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, then G sharp minor, G sharp, D sharp, G sharp and B, and finally F sharp. F sharp and C sharp, 
F-Sharp and A-Sharp. And for the chords of the intro and the verse, we're going to add this. First, we have A-Sharp 7. A-Sharp and D, so that's natural D. Playing G-Sharp with my thumb on my right. And the last chord, D sharp 7. A sharp and D sharp, that's for the left. Natural G, so that's the major third, and C sharp, the seventh. So we have A sharp 7 and D sharp 7. And that's for the chords. Quick recap from the top, D sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp. Okay, then we have B, F sharp over A sharp, G sharp minor, up on C sharp, A sharp 7 flat 9, D sharp minor 7, F sharp major, then B, F sharp over A sharp again, G sharp minor, and F sharp. And finally, two chords left A sharp 7, and D sharp 7. And now we can start breaking down the playing pattern for this intro. We have this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so mostly here, I played one chord for one beat. One, two, three, four. D sharp minor on the first beat, C sharp on the second, and I stayed on F sharp major on the third and also the fourth beat. Continue. One, two, three, four. So the same pattern. I played B on the first beat. The following chord, so F sharp over A sharp on the second, and stayed on the third chord on beat three and four. And now to end the intro. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Okay. C sharp on the first beat. A sharp seven flat nine on the second. D sharp minor seven on the third and also F sharp major on the fourth. One, two, three, four. And then, one and two, three, four. So to end the intro, I played B on the last measure, on the first beat. Then on the end of the first beat, I played F sharp over A sharp on the second beat, G sharp, and stayed on F sharp major for the third and fourth beat. One and two, three, four. the 
top. Here's the intro. Two, three, four. And now we're on to the verse. And for the verse, I'm going to divide this section in two parts. For the first part, we simply have to replay the exact same rhythmic pattern as the intro. So we have this. Two, three, four. That's for the first part of the verse. Now for the second part, before the first beat of the second part, we have A sharp 7 that we're going to play on the end of the fourth beat. Okay, so from the end of the first part. Okay, so you have F sharp major played on the third and fourth beat, and on the end of the fourth, that's when you're gonna play A sharp D and G sharp. Two, three, four. Now we're on to the second part that also starts on D sharp minor. Okay, we're gonna play this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. So we have D sharp minor, first beat, C sharp, second beat, F sharp on beat three and four, and then the pattern is going to change just a little bit. We have this. So instead of staying on G sharp minor on B3 and 4, we played D sharp 7 on the third beat, followed by G sharp minor on the fourth. One, two, three, four. And again for D sharp minor, A sharp and D sharp, G and C sharp. continue. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. So pretty much we have the same thing from the verse, but instead of playing simply the descending pattern from B down on F sharp. Here, for the second part of the verse, we're going to play that descending pattern twice, back to back. Okay, once again. One, two, three, four. That's for the second part of the verse. Let's replay it from the top. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. 
And also don't forget to play this A sharp 7 on the end of the 4th beat. So just before the second part of the verse. Here's the entire verse, slow tempo. 3, 4. We're now ready to recap everything, so the intro and verse at full speed. Here it is. And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicwitness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another Hot Android.